Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. I had a viewer ask me if it was possible to take the data record.dat file and load it into Excel. And so I was messing around with it and I just came up with a little piece of software to do it. I'm going to have it available up on the Cheap Controls website for download if you want it. I am asking for a small donation, but you don't have to if you can't afford it, you can feel free to download it for free. I'm going to show you how it works. I have this example set up here where I have a data record, I have a push button, and then I have this NO field that's going to display how many records are currently displayed in the record. And if I run it and I hit this, you can see that it populates with some data. I'm not going to use this video to go into how the data record works. I am making a series on each element and I will get to it, but I just thought this might help people that are currently familiar with the data record. I'm going to upload this and show it to you on the actual screen. Okay, so now I have it on the screen. I'm going to add the same few records. And you can see I have it set up for six different fields and I'm staring some I'm storing some numbers and some text. And now I'll unhook it. And if you're not familiar with these, there's an SD card on the back. Now I'll switch over to the computer. And then you can see this I call it CC data. And if I open it in Notepad. You can see that it's just full of, I would say garbage, but it probably means something to somebody. But you can interpret this and pull the data out. And I have this little program to do that. So what I do is I just select the file. And just click on it, double click on it. And then it populates these. It tells you how many records. I hit it four times. And then the record size is 51. And then I give some warnings down here because all I do is I give it the exact same name in the same location, CC data, but I call it .csv instead of data because I turned it into a CSV file. I give you a warning that if you have one already on there, it's going to override it. And then I give some clues as to what this means up here. But when we're ready, we just hit Create File. And then once it's done, we go back to the folder. And I'll open this one in Notepad 2. And you can see now it's comma separated. I'm going to do it once more time with a whole bunch of data. So for this one, I've added a timer. And I've added this insert. I'm going to show it to you this time. I didn't show you the command the last time. And then I'm going to show you where I'm going to collect the data, zero dot, the quantity of records and store it there. So you'll see it count up. And we've got the timer set to 400 milliseconds. So now if I show it in debug real quick, you can see it's counting up. It's going off the screen, but it's adding records pretty quick. We'll add about 100 records, and then I'll transfer the SD again. I'm not exactly sure how many I got, but now I'll pull the SD card. I'll switch back to the computer. And I still have that old CSV. And you can see it's still there, so it didn't overwrite that. If I open the CC data one, it still looks like it still looks like it's full of garbage, about the same as it did before. But this time when I select the file, hopefully I get about 100 records and the file size should still be about the same, about 50. I have found that the record size here shows one more than what you set in the, uh, in the IDE. 
And you can see it selected 124 records, or it found 124 records of size 51. So now we'll create that file again. And it says it's complete. And now if we go back to this CSV again, and now you can see that it goes off the screen. Let's and just to show you that it is in a CSV format, I'll drop it on to a Google Sheets. So I have my Google Drive here. I'll copy it over. And now it's a CSV over here. If I double click on it, it opens up as a sheet. So I hope people find that a handy um, software. And like I said, you can download it over on the Cheap Controls website. It'll be listed underneath this video number, this 192. You can search it that way if, if you're not viewing it right away, if months have gone by and, and you've just found this video. Hopefully it's still up there. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.